Hi there, and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Uh, this is the announcement and, a, you know, a very small reading for all of you. Uh, for the August free tarot reading, for those of you guys that participated with the channel, you know, interacted with me, told me hi, said thank you, you know, all those little nice things you guys say. Because you're so sweet to me, right? Yes, you are. Anyway... The winner is CC. CC, congratulations. You are a winner, babe. I've already contacted you. Looking forward to working with you. And for the rest of you, we are going to do an all signs reading. How is this person thinking and feeling about you at this time? Of course, you can see that I have just done some serious shuffling. How is this person thinking about you? We'll use these as if we need any clarifiers. How is this person thinking about you? And if you are dealing with an Aries, uh, somebody is in love, but they are not telling you. Why are they not telling you? Soulmate, soulmate burdens, something else that they are dealing with. It could be some sort of financial issue that they're having. Uh, they do want to take action towards you, but it will probably only be when until their money when their money is right. Okay. Yeah, that's a secret love affair. They might, they might be watching you. Um, if you are dealing with a Taurus, how does Taurus feel about my tribe? Taurus. Thank you. Ooh, Taurus. I felt that coming through. Somebody has been found out. It was going on for a long time. Uh, Taurus is juggling. Taurus is really trying to meditate and think of things that's going to help their future here because I feel like they feel stuck all right they really are trying to work towards something for the long term I feel like there's an unexpected truth or conversation that's getting ready to happen here uh-huh pretty quickly so uh it's it's almost like a non-emotional conversation so you know be prepared for that I don't see any emotion with that okay tell me about Gemini if you guys are dealing with a Gemini, mm -hmm. mm. abundance. Somebody's not telling the truth about either a pregnancy or some form of abundance. I'm going to go with pregnancy. There's probably a fire sign child here. Yep, new child. On the way in, somebody's about to be a mother. Somebody has not told the truth yet. Up, oh, yep, like I said, new opportunities, soulmate contract. There's a new Bambino on the way. Uh, and it could be because this person is still single. That's why they have not said anything. Okay. Tell me if you're dealing with cancer. Cancer, you had an emperor pop out immediately. Oop, hold on. What was that? So taking control of the situation. No. I knew it's funny as I just heard they said do it this way. Cancer energy? Yes. Cancer energy. King of Pentacles, working on something. He's some, this this individual, if they seem like they're they're walking away, I think their true wish is the Divine Feminine here. They are making offers. Um, somebody kind of needs to stop self sabotaging here. Is what I'm picking up on. Uh, there is someone who is sturdy here, and they are working with you on the long haul if you are a cancer they really do love you they want the ten of pentacles with you that's interesting that they came out like that uh-huh they're making plans guys whoever that is all right so now leo if you are dealing with a leo how does leo feel about my viewers how does leo feel about my viewers six of pentacles more than two people here how does leo feel about my viewers I feel like they think things are balanced out and that there is blessings to come with you. See, look, star at the bottom of the deck. They feel that you're someone that they can trust, someone who will handle business and take care of business. Yeah, lovers. No. Ooh, I thought that was a lover's energy. That's interesting. The Four of Cups uh, talks about some form of dissatisfaction here. Oh, okay, that's interesting. They thought that they could trust you to do what they needed to but the truth came out and really there's some sort of pain here regarding uh what it is that you're actually giving them you could be kind of breadcrumbing them because you want to have your cake and eat it too here they they're in some sort of pain about you 
Yep, look, it came out again. Have your cake and eat it too. The Divine Feminine is kind of stuck in their head. Okay, and let's move on to Virgo. Divine Feminine is stuck in your head if it's Leo. All right, what is Virgo thinking? Virgo, 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 what are you thinking? Somebody is blocked. They are waiting on something and trying to manifest a new beginning. Uh, they could be thinking about a Sagittarius here. There's also an energy here. You could have somebody. They think somebody is magical within their lives. Um, there is some sort of block, I feel like, on things that have been invested in. There's a Virgo who, who wants to be with a Sagittarius. Uh, and they're also looking to spirit. They're trying to manifest with spirit. There's been some drama around juggling and going back and forth. Now, I feel like this could be, um, you know, the time invested. I feel like the, there was time wasted because a decision was not made. Mm -hmm. I feel like taking two from here. Okay, so Queen of Pentacles relationship. Something about a stable relationship, all right? Uh, someone being stuck in their head regarding uh, betrayal. Somebody feels stuck. There is a betrayal here as well. There's some sort of prison aspect, like imprisonment. Mm -hmm. Financial relationships here. Indecision. Manifesting something um, and asking for prayer, asking for protection, asking for guidance. That's where that person is at. Oh my goodness, who did I just do? Um, I think that was Virgo. So we're going to go with Libra now. Libra. How can we see what is Libra got going on? Some sort of new communication could possibly be an apology here. Yeah. What is up with Eight of Swords? There's a lot of people stuck in Eight of Swords. You guys, Eight of Swords energy uh, is definitely Gemini energy. So two sides of a story here, but this is also in Jupiter, you know, but there's got to be a truth that, that comes out. This is all about communication. This is about cutting somebody free from a situation that would uh, keep them stuck. This is their headspace. They, I feel like they want to apologize to you for making you stressed out. Okay. I don't, I think their plan is just to be abundant kind of how it feels all right Scorpio what do we have for Scorpio please mm -hmm. Scorpio oh we happiness happiness somebody is super happy with you Scorpio definitely abundant new opportunities they want to love you down turn on slow music and maybe Netflix and chill but but later on like there will be slow music playing in the background Okay, that's some, that's just straight sex. <laughs> they want to sex you down. Sagittarius, if you are dealing with a Sagittarius, how do they feel about you? Mm -hmm. That's good sex too. Look, Sagittarius, you might be dealing with a Scorpio. <laughs> just joking. New opportunities are coming. Oh, no, I was not joking. Look. Okay, they might be that it might be a secret. It might be something kind of shy, but this is all new opportunities coming in for Sagittarius. Sagittarius is on to something new here, something new and beautiful. Yeah, like I said, really good sex. Okay, with somebody stable and in a relationship. Somebody looks and views at you as being a very solid and stable person in love with you. This Nine of Cups has come back out as well. Unexpected tower moment here with the third party. Yeah, there could be something that gets ready to happen here. Or maybe that just happened to them in the past. Yeah, look, there's going to be a tower moment that comes out. Yeah, but listen, this is also just, again, really good sex. Take your time with it. If you're dealing with the Sagittarius, learn their likes and dislikes, I'm feeling. Capricorn. If you are dealing with a Capricorn, what do we have for Capricorn? Thank you, spirit. Ooh wee. I saw a card, but it, it didn't want to come out just yet. Take three, I heard. If you're dealing with the Capricorn, new opportunities working for them. I don't feel that this is sexual energy. I feel that this is someone that is stuck in their head and they are trying to win at all costs. They are moving forward in life. 
um, they have really been working hard on something. I feel like something is going to be unveiled once they finally finish up this last piece right here. Could be dealing with an artist. Mm -hmm. Yeah, somebody who uh, is spiritually aware I'm picking up on. Okay, could be dealing with an Aquarius, Capricorn. Tell me about Aquarius now. Tell me about Aquarius. Let's move on to Aquarius. Temperance. Healing. Somebody's healing here. Ooh. Somebody's healing from dissatisfaction. Somebody was upset. They had plans uh, of abundance. And for some reason they were left out in the cold because they were duped. Could have been by a female. That's how they're feeling. Uh, somebody that they trusted too. Somebody that they trusted here. Yeah, they want their money. Yeah, and I feel like they're going to get it. They're going to find some way. They're looking at other people and communicating. Could be with the law trying to figure out how to get it. So if you're dealing with an Aquarius, they I, that conversation is run me my money. Mm -hmm. Pisces, I see you. Come on, Pisces. What else you got for me? Come here and take three. Not a problem. Somebody being left out in the cold. In a relationship, yeah, a, a twin flame relationship at that. Lessons to learn here. There's a tower moment coming in. If you're dealing with the Pisces, this is going to require some work because there is a total transformation getting ready to come in here. Uh, could be during Scorpio season. Yeah, there's going to be some sort of break that needs to be worked on. With these two combinations here, there could be somebody that ends up going to a funeral. Yeah, because I see religion here. All right, I, I see that... This could be somebody who really needs prayer at this time. Okay, so that's all you guys. And speaking of which, you guys really needing prayer right now. I think something some of you would um, be victorious if you had an extra prayer in your life. So let me give you that too. Mm -mm -mm. Let me get you a Psalms prayer here for protection. Who do we got? Point out the road I must travel. I'm all ears all eyes before you. This is Psalms 143.10. So basically you're saying, God, I'm ready to work with you. Let's get a move on. We got some things that we've got to work with. I'm listening and I'm watching for everything that you need to show me. And what he's showing you, it says the Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving towards all he has made. So you should do the same. Anything that he has created, you should create and, and treat with kindness as well. And it says, we are the people God watches over the flock under his care. Psalms 95, seven. Um, and here this talks about paths again, show me your path and teach me your path. So one of the things that does happen in life is we run across people that are wolves. Whenever I see sheeps, I automatically think wolves. And you know, I don't want you guys out here being wolved. That's what I call it being wolved and taken advantage of and all that other stuff. I want you to be victorious. All right, so anyway, that was just a random breed again. Thank you so much, uh, GECEmpressCollection.etsy.com. I do have salt and sugar scrubs back on the website for you. Uh, therapeutic care as well as cleansing and prosperity, self-love and rejuvenation. Looking for a good card here. What? Give me one more card. I don't know why I just keep flipping. I don't know. But anyway, it's okay. We'll get through it. New opportunities on the way. It's what I was looking for. I'll let you go now. <laughs> Peace, no more grease.